Hamish Campbell reporting for Free Speech TV. The demonstrations against the war in Afghanistan continue in the UK, despite the recurring problem of media underreporting. Two weeks after the huge national demo in London, which the mainstream media reported as being a low turnout of marginal groups, there are numerous weekly regional demonstrations and vigils around the country. In Oxford, a small town in central England, over 300 people came out for a good-natured march through the city centre, despite the current unnecessary policy of over-policing such events. Bush Blair CIA! How many kids did you kill today? Bush Blair CIA! How many kids did you kill today? Bush Blair CIA! How many kids did you kill today? I'm totally against the terrorism, but also I am not supporting what Bush and Blair are doing. It is a completely, completely injustice, unfair to kill innocent people, attacking on the poorest country on the earth. If America want to keep the people under their thumbs, I think the terrorism will never finish. I think we should have peace and harmony, love to each other, care to each other, and stop this old nonsense once forever. Uh, I'm here on this march because this war is bloody stupid. And I'm here because I feel very strongly. I'm opposed to the bombing of Afghanistan. I'm opposed to the continuation of the war. And I don't believe that people are getting the whole message from the media and the government. People need to know what it's all about. Being led to believe it's been over, that it's been short and sharp and effective. But in fact, the bombing is still continuing. The US is still threatening now to extend into other nations that it doesn't approve of because it feels that it has been successful and so a number of other nations such as Somalia and Iraq are now very vulnerable and this vulnerable. The danger is that the majority of the populations in such nations are innocent people, often very poor people, very opposed to terrorism and yet they are the victims every time this happens. Oxford has a good tradition of demonstrating. It has um, a large student community, it has an active trade union population, active trade union council and we have a good strong tradition in Oxford of taking part not only in local demonstrations but participating in national demonstrations as well. We don't have any problem with America and the American people. The problem is with the American government and indeed with our own government that I think we're in more of a position to criticise for its unquestioning support of the action that the US government has been taking without actually consulting the people, without consulting Parliament.